I'm picking up on the energy of somebody who really wants to take their time with you. This is a lover. This is somebody who, and I'll give you a few key points to know whether or not this reading is for you. This is a masculine, I'm specifically channeling a masculine, who had the potential to turn into everything that their parents were or weren't. Um, they have the potential, they have the power and have the potential, even to this day, to be something that, you know, is harmful to this world because that's how powerful their energy is. But they've chosen better for themselves and they've, they've chosen to channel their energy into something that something that feels safe to them. It's almost like they have a hobby, aside from video games, which is also coming into this picture. It's like a hobby that that builds safety within their mind is what's coming through. So it's something that gives them a sense of power and control. And it came in at a time in their life where they felt like confirmation, they didn't have any power or control. And so you might notice from this person that they're always grasping for power and control. Um, they're either grasping for it or they're completely detached from it because it's something that it's something that they lacked as a child. It, it's like it felt it feels like they weren't able to control a lot or you know what's even coming through is they've been in relationships in the past where they weren't able to you know, under like they tried so hard to understand the person they were with and provide for the person they were with and, um, you know, really be in a strong connection with the person they were with, but the person wasn't on the same page with them or isn't. That person could still be in the picture kind of driving this person crazy or at least energetically. Um, but you really bring this person a sense of peace that they weren't able to find in another connection before. Um it feels like they feel like they are on the same page with you. It feels like they are wanting to get on the same page with you. So maybe something happened between the two of you. Maybe there was an argument, um, something that kind of like split you apart for just a moment in time. And keep in mind, time isn't, time isn't real. So, you know, it could be hours, this could be days, this could be weeks, whatever it is. Um, there's incoming communication is what I'm being told. And, they're coming forward in a way that is non-threatening because they want you to feel safe is what's coming through. And they realize that whatever they said to you or whatever they did to you made you feel like you weren't safe. Um, it made you feel like maybe you did as a child. And so this person is like, I'm hearing right my wrongs. Like this person is coming in to right their wrongs. And again, this is somebody who carries the energy and the potential to be I'm like lesser evil to be to just uh, say screw it all and like throw it to the wind but this is somebody who is willing to put in the work for you so they're going to come forward and show you this that they are willing to put in the work for you because they feel like you are worth changing for like they feel like you are worth showing up for in those ways um it really hurts this person to see you hurting like this person would do anything to not see you hurt. And so it's like when they do hurt you, I feel like they may even pull away in certain situations because it it makes them so uncomfortable to know or to have to acknowledge that they did something wrong. Um, they really value your time together. They also don't want to take up too much of your time when they understand how like it's just like your value to this person is what's what keeps coming through, like how valuable you are to this person. I want to tune into a highest timeline here. Divine Spirit, can I pull, please, one card and just whatever it is you wish us to know about this love connection. Four of Swords. Yeah, it, it's time. It requires time. It requires spending time together. Um, taking time to get to know one of it, one each other, one another, um, as well as a really deep level of understanding. It's like forgiveness has to be involved in this connection in order for it to move forward, or in order for it to move anywhere. 
And so laying the egos to the side is really important here. And this person is willing to lay their ego to the side. Are you willing to lay yours is what's coming through. Are you willing to, you know, give up past patterns and behaviors and beliefs and adapt and, and learn and grow with this person? Because when they come forward to you, they are coming forward in an energy of want, willingness to learn and grow. Are you going to be prepared to receive that from this person is what's coming through. So think about that. Get clear on that. If this message has resonated with you and you feel like you would like to dive in further, if you feel like you are ready and, and at that breaking point of connecting with your divine counterpart or feel like, you know, there's some inner work that still needs to be done on self-love, on committing to the love of yourself, at this time I offer a workbook specifically for calling in your dream soulmate. So so calling in that true love and, and preparing for your soulmate. So becoming that commitment to your self-love, um, dream scripting your reality. This is something that I have created over the past year of my life. Um, it's worked for me with my soulmate. So this is basically everything that I did in order to call in my true love that I have now put into a workbook to offer to you. If you want to go even deeper than that, I offer an entire class called Master Your Reality where we can work together for 99 days to discover your magic, to connect you to that intuition and to help you call back your personal power and put the power in your hands to create your reality and to live your dream life because you are worthy of this. You are deserving of this and you are deserving of a love that chooses you. And you will find that when you choose you, is when that love will come find you. So if you do feel called, you can click the link in my bio. And if not, I wanna leave you with one final message of love. And this is going to be directly from your divine counterpart, this masculine energy. Please allow me the pleasure of loving you. Please allow me the time and space to do what I need to do on my own so that I can be everything that you need me to be. And while they take the time to become everything they need to be, be sure you are taking the time to become everything that you feel you are capable of being in this lifetime. Because that is how you find true love. <laughs>